Hola, buen día a todos. Good day, everyone. Soy Miss Lorraine. Bienvenidos a la Escuelita de Español. We know that adjectives are words that describe nouns, right? Well, they can also show possession. Do you know the meaning of that big word, possession? Well, it's when something is owned or belongs to someone, somewhere, etc. So let's look at it closely. We can use possessives to say who things belongs to. For example, if I've got a pen, then it's my pen. If we have a car, then it's our car. Do you get the idea? So before we learn the possessive adjectives in Spanish, let's remind ourselves what they are in English. So here we have a noun, house. We will use the possessives to say who the house belongs to. Remember, possessive adjectives states possession, meaning who stuff belongs to, okay? So we'll begin with it's my house. It's my house. Your house. His house. Her house. Let's say we're referring to an animal, a dog. We say its house. Our house. Do you know the plural for you? It's your house. That is, if we're referring to more than one person, we say your house as well. And we have their house. So there you have the English possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, its, our, your, and their. So now let's take a look at the Spanish possessive adjectives. So follow me and repeat the same in Espanol. For my, we say mi or mis. Mi, mis. For your, things that belong to you, your, we say tu or tus. For the adjectives his, her, its, your in the plural form and their, we say su and sus. Let me repeat that. For the adjectives his, her, its, your in the plural form, and there we say su or sus. And lastly, for our, we say nuestro, nuestros, or nuestra and nuestras. Remember that in Spanish, everything has to correspond in gender and numbers, okay? We'll again use house as the practice noun. We already know the Spanish word for house, right? It's casa. Casa. So as you could see, in this case, we're speaking about one thing. That's singular noun, casa. So we say, mi casa. Repitan conmigo. Mi casa, which means my house. Tu casa. Tu casa, which means your house. Now, you might notice the word tu, I am saying your, and you know that tu means you in Spanish as well. The difference is that when it's a pronoun, tu with the accent means you, and tu without the accent means your. 
So in this case, tu casa means your house. If we are talking about his house, her house, its house, your house in plural form, or their house, we say su casa. Su casa. Let's repeat that. If we are talking about his house, her house, its house, your house, that is your in the plural form, and their house, in Spanish, we say su casa. If we are talking about our house, our house, we say nuestra casa. Now, you might say, Miss Lorraine, you said our means nuestro, nuestros, nuestra, and nuestras. How do you decide if to say nuestra casa? That is easy. Remember, we can look at a noun to figure out if it's a singular noun, if it's a plural noun, if it's a masculine noun, and if it's a feminine noun. So we could see the word casa is a singular noun, as it does not end in S. If it doesn't end in S, then it's a singular noun. So we know it has to be nuestro or nuestra. How did we decide that it's nuestra casa? Well, that noun ends in an A, making it a feminine singular noun. And we know we use nuestra for feminine singular. That is how we got nuestra casa. Let's move on. Since the possessive adjective must be singular if the noun is singular and plural if the noun is plural, let's change the following from singular to plural, shall we? So we have mi perro. Mi perro means my dog. We know in English, we could change the noun from singular to plural. But we cannot change the possessive adjectives in English from singular to plural. So while in English we say my dogs and my dog, in Spanish, my dog, mi perro, the plural would be mis perros. That possessive adjective in Spanish has to be plural in this case as well, if the noun is also plural. So let me repeat that. In Spanish, if you have a singular possessive adjective, then your noun needs to be singular as well. However, if your possessive adjective in Spanish is plural, then your noun must also correspond and be plural. That is why we have mi perro and mis perros. Please repeat the following. Tu amigo. Tu amigo. Which means your friend. The plural for tu, as we know, is tus. And the plural for amigo would be amigos. So to say your friends, you'll need to say tus amigos. Please repeat that, tus amigos. Excelente. Let's continue. Su casa. Su casa. His house or her house. In this case, we'll just use his, su casa, his house. The plural, his houses, would be sus casas, sus casas. Let's look at another one. 
to say our plate. Our plate. Our plate is nuestro plato. Nuestro plato. As you could see, nuestro is in singular masculine form. Therefore, our noun needs to correspond to that. Plato. Nuestro plato. Our plate. The plural for nuestro is nuestros. Nuestros. And the plural for plato would be platos. So to say our plates, you'll need to say nuestros platos. Muy bien. Another thing that you should know is that there is no apostrophe in Spanish. So you can't say, for example, Jorge's dog. You can't say it like that, Jorge's dog. You have to use the word de. You have to use the word de to say that something belongs to someone. So in other words, you literally have to say the dog of George or Jorge. The dog of Jorge. In Spanish, it would be el perro de Jorge. So when something belongs to someone, you'll have to say what the thing is, then say de, and then say the name of who it belongs to. So let's say you want to say the Mary's house. We cannot say Mary's house because there is no apostrophe in Spanish. So what do we say? In Spanish, it's like we're saying the house of Mary. And we know the house is la casa. And as we said, you need to say what the thing is, then use the word de, and then say who it belongs to. So we will say la casa de Maria. Make sense? Let's practice saying the following in Spanish. My dad's job. Since there is no apostrophe in Spanish, we cannot say my dad's job. We will need to say the job of my dad, which in Spanish is el trabajo de mi papá. El trabajo means the job. We have de, which means of. And mi papá means my dad. Repitan. El trabajo de mi papá. The neighbor's cat. The neighbor's cat. Again, since we cannot say literally the neighbor's cat, we need to say what the thing is that we're talking about and who it belongs to. So we are talking about the cat of the neighbor. In Spanish, we say el gato de la vecina. Now, vecina is a female neighbor. If it's a male neighbor, you say vecino. El gato de la vecina. Awesome. Let's look at Gabriel's red shoe. Gabriel's red shoe. What is the thing that we're talking about here? The red shoe, correct? The red shoe. And who does the red shoe belong to? Gabriel. So therefore, we will say the red shoe of Gabriel. El zapato rojo de Gabriel. El zapato rojo de Gabriel. Finally, we have 
your sister's friend. Your sister's friend. Now, we're talking about the friend of your sister. How do you say the friend? In Spanish, we say el amigo, or if it's a female friend, you say la amiga. Let's just assume that we are speaking of a male friend. Do you know how to say the friend? Remember, we are speaking about a male friend. So the friend is el amigo. And we know that of is de. So we have el amigo de. Now, how do you say your sister? Your means tu and sister is hermana. So in order to say your sister's friend, you will need to say el amigo de tu hermana. Excelente trabajo, chicos. Well done. But your time in the fun and exciting world of possessive adjective has now come to an end. I hope you learned something from this segment and do tune in again to the Guyana Learning Channel for more Español. Soy Lorraine. Hasta la vista.